In our company, we receive every month an update from an external company. This company sends us a simple CSV file and we archive all of them into one folder. Now, I would like to be able to represent all the information at once and I would like to not have to modify my Power BI report every time they send me a new report. Let me show you how to fix that. So let's start from a completely blank report. You can see here. And we have this folder where we have different reports, each one of them has different information. We can keep on adding reports here. What we want is that we just click on refresh on our report and it will pick whatever new information we added to this folder. So every month, if we have a new file, we'll just upload it here without having to change anything on our Power BI queries or anything like that. How do we do that? We come to Power BI, get data, and we go to more. We're gonna look for SharePoint folder, connect. Now we go to our SharePoint. We grab all until share documents. We paste it here and we click on OK. We go to transform data. And you can see here that we get a ton of files and none of them is what we had here. Why? Because we're getting all the files that we have on our SharePoint. This would be the same if we do it with OneDrive. It will get us all the files that we have on our OneDrive. What we need to do is look for at least one of those files. This is the easiest way of doing it. There's an even easier one if you know the specific address of the folder you're looking for. But let me show you the easy one where you don't have to know anything. You just come here and say that our file was named KPI. And we have it here, KPI in one, two, three. We're going to unselect all and look for at least one of them. And the information we want is this. If we click on it, it brings us the whole folder path. We copy it and then we can remove the filter row. This way we are back to having all the files on our path, on our uh, SharePoint. And we go from the left all the way to the right into folder path. And now what we're going to do is filter by the copied value that we had before. What we're doing is basically telling Power Query, hey, bring me everything that is on that folder. We can see here we have KPI update one, two, and three. What we have here, one, two, and three. Now, for all the content that we have here, we would usually go one by one. We're going to click on this one, combine files. We could also go here if we have them all selected. What Power Query is doing right now is checking all the files that we have, checking if they have the same structure and then deciding how it's going to combine them. If these files are always the same, you're making it really easy for Power Query to be able to wrap everything and put everything on one single list. And it will add one column so that you know which row belongs to which file. Let's wait for it. We select our sheet one. It will basically check if all of them look the same. They all look the same. You see, it created all the parameters, everything that we needed, all the different steps that we needed completely for us. We don't have to do anything. There you have it. You have all the information that you had in the, inside the files, the KPIs with the description, the target, the current value, and which row belongs to which file. This way you can pivot based on this, or you can change this for a month 
or do whatever you want to do with your file. So if these were monthly files, you can always add a column that is telling you for this file, we want January, for the number two, we want February, for the number three, so on, so on, so on. If I go to the table view, we will see all our information at once. There you have it. Now, if we add a new file or we just come to our SharePoint, we come here and let's name this one for okay now we want we'll go here and let's refresh our data you see there 32 rows loaded if we go to our table view here we have it kp update update 4 if you found this useful and you need some help in any of your developments, let me know on the link that you have in the description. And if you want to look for any other development or any other thing in the Power Platform, check out this video right here. You'll probably find it useful.